Okay, so let's start working now on this Olympic Swimming Pool Indoor Lighting Calculations. So I'm going to open now the dialog software. This is the red dialog, not the evil one. And then I will select the new interior project. I say OK for now. And then I will import the CAD file, which we downloaded from... The website there you go this is my file okay and yes 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 next next and then finish so this is the file and let me double check the scale so it will be correct select the tape measure always check the scale okay 50 perfect this is correct so it's meters and if you want to download this CAD file, do not forget, go and check it here in this link. It's from DWG Download, and this is for free. You just need to press this one, download, and then you will have it. So let's move our room now. Click the room, right-click, edit room geometry because our default room is very small, so we need to adjust it. So this is how the regular dialogs looks like. If it's in Evo, it's different. So, yes, this is how the dialogs regular looks like. So, if you don't know how to figure out which one is the wall, go and double check the layer. Maybe the layer will say something about the walls. But uh, based on the obs observation, you can easily find out that the wall is in the color, the yellow. And then one more here at the, the bottom side. There you go. Okay, so perfect. This uh, uh, Olympic Stadium height ceiling height is um, uh, 20 meters but the mounting position should be um, up to 17 or 15 to 17 okay so i think let's go to the 3d view and see how it looks there you go our olympics swimming pool is now milled okay and then later we will also add those uh, benches because as per the standard at least there should have um 150 lakhs on the benches or on the es spectators area so now it's time for us to put let's let's focus first on the lighting design we can add those decorations later uh, we need to first run a calculation is in a simple room because once you added those benches and other accessories or objects then your file will become heavy so let's focus first on the calculation surfaces. Let's do the um, adding the calculation points or grid points. So go to the object tab and then select this calculation grid points and then drag and drop. Let's go first for the TA or the total playing area. The total playing area is where those uh, padlocks or side padlocks included in the calculation. Because like what I mentioned in my previous uh, video, uh, people must see the people who are walking along the side of the swimming pool. And it's also for the safety and security of the players. Okay, I can just extend my calculation TA or total area, playing area, up to here only and up to the side of this edge. Okay, so let's label this one as calculation grid TA. And then, close parenthesis, enter. This is similar to the uh, football field. There's a TA and PA. Okay, and then let's go now and add the PA or the playing area or the swimming pool area. So this part is where the swimming pool or the water uh area is located so whenever you see those water line or the swimming pool line this is where you will put your pa okay and then we will also adjust the um, calculation grid points for the ta and the pa for the pa the playing area or the water area i will uh, make it um, type PA. I will make it two by two grid. 
okay and for the T, uh, PA I will make uh, for the TA I will make it 5 by 5 so select this one this test is 2 by 2 now it's denser and for the uh, TA is 5 by 5 so distance and then 5 by 5 there you go oh doesn't look right 5 by 5 is too far yeah it seems too far so let's make it um okay uh, let's make it maybe 3 by 3 yep okay maybe you're asking me what is really the requirements for the TA and the PA actually you can make it 5 by 5 because it's sports lighting and because it's an indoor and see those path walk along the side is not that big or it's not wide so let's just keep it as 3 by 3 or actually we can also make it 2 by 2 let's try 2 by 2 for now so it will be the same for um, for the swimming pool area okay I'm not sure the feeling seems something is wrong with this dimension okay let's measure it again it should be 25 meters wide let me double check yeah it's 25 correct all right so this is fine okay so now I have TA and PA uh, because we don't have a diving board or diving pool so this is good two calculation grids only perfect and now let's put the cameras as per the standard there is go and check this link from Mikri thank you very much Mikri for this input because I don't have the file for an Olympic lighting design requirements the official PDF file so I'll just um, check this one and yeah here are the locations of the cameras for the Olympic swimming pool so there are some here at the end and on the side and on on the side there are some levels which is the human height cameraman and the fixed camera which is higher compared to the human height and um, but sometimes the clients will tell you which uh, positions are there for the cameras so for now let's just create maybe six cameras you can actually adjust it later on once the fixed camera location is finalized okay so for this one I will say I will put one here on the top this is six meters on the bottom side two on this side and another two here and two on the longest side of this pool so two four six eight nine okay let's just do the same for dar al handasa which is nine cameras but actually it's typical on the other side but okay let's just do it so to add the cameras you all need, need to do a uh, sports facilities grab this one click this it's under the object tab still click this camera tab here just drag and drop there you go and you see the aiming uh, or the uh, arrow direction of this camera is going to the left so I'll just rotate it like this and if you want to to, to get the precise um, orientation of the camera go and edit here from this um, number tabs okay so this is 90 degrees perfect and the height the default height of the camera is 1.2 meters height this is like the height of a man or a cameraman standing or sitting okay so you can adjust this one if the client sets says so okay but but for now let's just use the default which is 1.2 meters height i will just copy and paste this one to the other side so control c and control v so this will be the camera number two and another control v and this is one for the camera number three and then i will have cameras on this the end side let's say here and then i will rotate it like this yes so it will be like zero degrees okay and i will add uh, another one on this side so 
I put you there and then control C and control V so this will be my camera number five okay so because this one this three is typical to the other side let's just keep it like that and then I will add one here which is the highest camera or the fixed camera which is let's just imagine it's six meters high so control V again and then I will change the height of this camera with six meters and the orientation is um, uh, 90 degrees um, yeah 270 or negative 90 degrees there you go so I'll just randomly put it here like in the part of the um, old gems here all right so now I have two four six cameras and um, yeah maybe I can add one more here yes so it's it will be in the middle here all right there you go so this is going to be 180 degrees and 1.2 meter height camera I will save it now so maybe if you want to have this copy of the file of this this dialogue file I will give it to you for free there you go it's saved okay so our calculation grids and cameras are now set up let's go and check in the 3d view how it looks gorgeous gorgeous see the camera in six meters height it's there look at this one and those other cameras on the 1.2 meter height are here now let's go and get our amazing floodlight because i told you before the secret to this olympics indoor swimming pool is the a good selection of the luminaire and that's it because it's just a simple like an area lighting okay it's very easy